Assalamu alaikum, this is Sarfad Alaikum with a video and this time the video is on all of this economics, price, elasticity of demand. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel and share this video with those friends who are doing all of this economics. And it, this topic is also in A-level economics. So if you didn't understand, do share the video and watch the whole video in the end of the video. I can claim this thing that you will be able to understand 100% of the concept. Uh, I will be sharing my Patreon link in the, in the description. Uh, do check it out, do donate as much as you can because I am just running a charity group which is Save Humanity on Facebook and I am using this group to donate to those people who are very needy so that, that's why I just uh, want you people to donate as much as you can you can donate at least one dollar and that's that's the minimum amount you can do that so again I will suggest if you go for that so let's start with the video uh, we have to start with the concept of price elasticity of demand but before we proceed with this topic you need to have a good knowledge of demand topic the reason is that because it is connected to demand it, you will not be able to just understand the graphs so you should be good with the demand and supply topic if you haven't watched that video those videos are available in my channel so you can visit those videos price elasticity, elasticity of demand what is the concept the concept is saying responsiveness of quantity demanded okay Resp responsiveness of Quantity demanded due to a change in price. Okay, due to a change in price, how your quantity demanded will respond to a change in price that is termed as the price last of demand. Let's suppose if the price was increased by ten dollars. So how the quantity demanded change? How people responded to that? That is the concept of price last of demand. The formula for calculating PD is equal to percentage change. Change is represented by this delta. This small triangle is sometimes termed as delta percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. So you will do that. And in this quantity demanded, what you will do? Q2 minus Q1. Uh, the the normal, normal way how you calculate the change in anything. Okay. And this price, what you will do? P2 minus P1 divided by P1 multiplied by 100. P1 means the existing price q1 means the existing quantity you do that let's suppose if the price of a product was i'll give you an example price of a product was sorry not was is dollar 10 the price increased to dollar 20 whereas the quantity demanded changed from change from 100 units to 50 units due to an increase in price okay so let's calculate the pd what you will do i'll just uh, check out what is the percentage in change in quantity demanded the new quantity is the Q2 in this formula. So Q2 is 50 and the old quantity is Q1. So 100 divided by old quantity 100 multiplied by 100 you get a percentage. Then percentage change in price. Let's do that. Percentage in price is equal to new price which is $20 and the old price is $10 divided by 10 old price multiplied by 100. You will get the percentages. Okay. So, in the upper portion, if I say it is 50%, okay, and in the lower portion, it is again 50%, the upper portion it is minus 50. So, if I calculate uh, the PED, so how it will be done? Minus 50 over 50. So, my answer of PED will be minus 1. Okay. So, when determining the type of PED, we ignore the sign. Okay. What we do? We ignore the sign. So, there are two broadly categories of uh, PD price last of demand one is elastic and other is inelastic elastic means when the PD is greater than one when the PD is greater than one and inelastic means when the PD is less than one so when it is less than one that means the effect of the customer to the change in price is very low the quantity demanded response in a very insignificant manner in a very low manner with the uh, customers are not very concerned. Sir, does it happen in the real world? Yes, it happens. Whenever the price of medicines change, 
you do not respond a lot. The reason is that because you cannot skip the medicines in the market. So that's illogical over here. Elastic means speed is greater than 1 and when we are deciding elastic or inelastic, we ignore the sign. I have already told you this thing. So this is 1. So it means it is 1 or greater than, uh, it is greater than 1. Let's suppose if I say this answer is not 1, if I assume this answer is 1.5, let's suppose the answer is 1.5. So then it is termed as elastic. That means a slight change in the price will cause a greater change in the quantity demanded. So I write it down. Slight change in what? In price will change quantity demanded by a significant portion. Okay. Significant portion. Whereas it is vice versa. A significant change in price Okay, a significant change in price will lead to small change in small change in quantity demanded. So I'll just write it down like this. Okay, so remember this thing. So these are two of the factors which are uh, to be considered before we decide. So the diagrams are also very important. The diagram for elastic demand is like this. Quantity and price. The labeling is very important. So in this case, it will go like this. It will be steep. So if you do this, you can see that the price change from $8 to $6, it decreased but the quantity increased by 100% from 50 to 100 and it can go either ways it should not be the case that when you are increasing the price the customer will uh, decrease the consumption it can be uh, it can be the other way around when you decrease the price the customer will increase the consumption a lot now this is uh, the inelastic diagram in this inelastic diagram is like this okay this is demand curve you write it down like this and your demand will not change a lot. You change your price from $10 to $5, but your quantity demanded only increase from 80 to 100. Okay. So this is an insignificant change. And the PD for inelastic is less than one and the PD for elastic is greater than one. Let's talk about the more examples of more types of uh, elasticities. So one thing which is unique, unit to elastic. Unit to elastic means the PED answer will be equal to 1, like we got the answer in this question. So how it will be? The diagram of this will be, there will be an equal change in price and quantity demanded. So this will be the diagram for this. There will be an equal change, let's suppose the quantity demanded 50, it increased to 100 and the price was 10, it decreased to 5. So this is an equal change. That means 50% change on both the sides. Okay. So we can say this thing, sorry, 100% change in both the, both the sides. So uh, it decreased by 50 and this. So again, you can see this thing that uh, it is the answer will be PD is equal to 1. 1 means that your price and quantity demanded is changing by the same proportion. The fourth type will be price elastic demand. Price elastic demand. What does it mean? It means price elastic demand means that the customer will purchase on only this price. So the PD will be infinity. You will not get an answer in this question and the examination on the calculator. The PD is infinity. But again, when the curve is straight, you can understand this thing that the customer will purchase on this price only. If I give an example of this, it will be petrol. The prices of petrol is decided by the government and you cannot change it. Okay. And the next last graph is this graph, which is Price inelastic. Price inelastic means you consume the same thing, you consume the same quantity regardless of the price. You consume the same quantity regardless of the price. So the curve will be this. If I give you an example of that, it will be medicine. If a doctor has suggested you five medicines in a day, do not consume 10 thinking that the price is low. So I should be consuming 10. You should not, you will not be able to do this. And that is the reason it is price inelastic. The last thing which is very important is determinants, how the price elasticity 
changes. The first thing which is the type of product. If it is a addictive product, it will be inelastic. Like tobacco related products, they are inelastic. Okay. If it is a medicine, and uh, second thing would be if it is a medicine. So again, you cannot say that you are elastic. That you will the demand will be inelastic because you cannot respond much to a change in price. And the more thing is second thing is the number of substitutes. If there are more substitutes in the market, so you will be having more elastic demand for one product in comparison to another. If I give an example of this, Pepsi versus Coke. If the prices of one product is increased, so the demand for other increases. So there are numerous determinants we can talk about, but uh, the these are the two main name uh, main uh, determinants which are very important. And the last thing which is very important is the use of the knowledge of PD. The question has come in the examination already. The news of the the use of the knowledge of PD that what helps. After getting the knowledge, so first thing is setting the price. Okay, setting price. If a product is elastic, you decrease the price. Okay, you decrease the price. Whereas if a product is inelastic, what you do? You increase the price in order to increase your revenue. So the major thing is this, uh, which is to be written down in the examination that you need to use this thing in. Your answer that this is the major use to use to selling price. The second thing is very important that maybe you have to produce a certain unit in order to cover your cost. So at how much uh, level you will be able to cover your cost, you can decide by getting the selling price by setting the demand right. Okay, that this much. Let's suppose you are saying that five hundred units need to be sold in order to. Uh, cover all the costs which you are incurring in a business. So, in order to sell 500 units, you need to sell the price accordingly. And again, you have to just go about that. So, I hope you are able to solve and understand this question in this PD price as you demand. You have to just observe from the eyes of a customer. Okay, so remember this thing. So, I hope you are able to understand this thing. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe the channel, like, share, comment, and share this video with your friends and family. And if you haven't liked the Facebook page, which is Save Humanity, do like it and support me on Patreon for the donation purpose as low as one dollar if you want. Okay, thank you for watching. Allah is everything.